solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as the trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. One of the pieces I was curious about, Marshall, was the art of asking good questions. Uh, you speak about having some go-to questions which really provoke reflection with a coachee. Uh, in your experience, uh, uh, what wisdom would you have for for people or uh, coaches who are? I'll get, I mean, I'm going to give everybody my first six questions mm -hmm. that I challenge myself with every day. And if you just do nothing but ask these questions every day. Fill out the form. You'll get better. I mean, I have thousands of people have done research. You'll get better. One question is, did I do my best to set clear goals today? Mm -hmm. Now, I have a program I'm doing called the LPR 50. Mm -hmm. These are amazing people. I mean, let's see who's in our group. We've got the head of the U.S. Olympic Committee. We've got um, NBA All-Star, National Football League All-Star. Wouldn't you always join Academy Award winner? We've got... Uh, uh, President Rockefeller Foundation, I mean, on and on, CEO of all these big companies. And, and we, we, do, we go through this every week. They evaluate themselves every day. And then once a week, we have a dialogue about this. And they, they meet in groups of, say, six to 10. 50 people meeting in groups of six to 10. I spend seven hours every weekend on this. It's amazing. They love it, too. The first question is, did you do your best to set clear goals? Do you think they all going to get a 10? No, nope. some days I woke up, I did emails, I got on a phone call, the day was over. Next, did I do my best to make progress toward achieving my goals? Some days I got distracted, I forgot what I was doing. Did I, did I do my best to find meaning? I've had a guy who was a heart surgeon give himself a three out of 10 on finding meaning. It's not what you do. It's how it relates to your life. Now, the next one we're going to spend time on. Did I do my best to be happy? Yesterday, I did this with a guy who, for millions of people, would be a god. Rich, good-looking, young, famous, critically acclaimed, poor. Okay, Deepak, one to 10, 10 is high, one is low. What would be your score on the average day? Did I do my best to be happy? Did I do my best to be happy? One to 10, give me a number. Six, so seven. Six, yeah. we'll say 6.5. Now, Deepak, I, you went to undergrad school. Where'd you go there again? Was that IIT? Yeah. Right. Remember when you were in IIT, you got a test and you got a 65 out of 100. Would you be, would you be real proud of that score at IIT where you got that 65 out of 100? No, you'd be ashamed. You know all those bullshit tests you took at IIT? None of those tests was anything close to as important as a test I just gave you. And you got a 6.5. Now, Deepak, whose problem is it that you got a 6.5? Whose fault is that? That's it. Now, I'm going to give you a little challenge. I'm sure a fine IIT graduate, you should rise to the occasion. Raise the damn score. Is there anybody stopping? The, qu the question didn't even say, were you happy? But the question said, did I do my best to be happy? You didn't even get a high score at that. Now, the average in the world is 5.5. Now, I did this with three medical doctors. Jim Kim, Raj Shaw, John Noseworthy, and they're in my book, Triggers, three of the smartest people I ever met. Yeah, World Bank, Mayo Clinic, Rockefeller Foundation. They're not dumb, right? All medical doctors. All three said it never dawned on me to try to be happy. So I said, well, did it dawn on you you're going to die? Did you kind of figure that out, death? 
He said, yeah, yeah. In medical school, they cover that topic. Death. Yeah, yeah, death. Yeah, we're going to die, yeah. Well, I said, you think this is a silly question? No. I forgot to ask. I was too busy achieving things. I forgot to ask. I was too busy achieving things. How old are you? I'm 44. I'm 71 years. If you're 71 and you look back on your life and say on the average day, I got a 6.5 on trying to be happy. You know what you think about Deepak? Dumbass. Dumbass. You think the 71 year old you would think that was impressive or not too much? Now, in fact, we're all going to be equally dead here. My advice is be happy. And by the way, if you think you're going to be happy when you write the book, you achieve the status, you get that success. The guy I talked to yesterday, if there was a win, he was way beyond any win. The answer is not out there. The answer is in here. Mm. Now, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of something called the Bhagavad Gita. Of course. Yeah, the Bhagavad Gita, what is, what is, there's Arjuna and Krishna. What does Krishna say? Look, don't get fixated on the outcomes. Focus on the process, you do your best and you make peace. Uh, Deepak, have you ever gotten fixated on the outcomes? Often. Yeah. Reread that little poem. Yeah, there's a reason that poem is still around after all those years. It is what it is. Mm. You are where you are. You make peace, you come up with a strategy, you do your best. That's it. One of the happiest people I know is Harry Baxter, is the CEO of Baxter, uh, Harry, Harry Kramer, CEO of Baxter, and just a good guy. Have you ever met Harry? You should have him on your show, he's a great guy. Anyway, Harry, somebody said, how do you sleep at night? Because you have to fire people, you've had to lay people off. How do you sleep? He said, two questions. Did I do my best? Did I do what I thought was right? If I did what I thought was right and I did my best, I sleep at night. That's all you can do. It's all any of us can do. Thank you, Marshall. Uh, Marshall, the oh, wait. I've, the last two questions are: Did I do my best to be fully engaged? Right. And uh, did I do my best to build positive relationships? Now, Deepak, single or married? Married with two kids. Married? Oh, very good. And, and what's your wife's name? Kamini. Very nice. Now, do you believe customer satisfaction is important in life? Is customer satisfaction important. And should we ask our customers for input about how we can improve? And should we listen and try to get better? Okay. Have, you been asking your, have you been asking your lovely wife, what can Deepak do to be a better partner in this relationship? No. You no, know, Deepak, I'm very confused. Very confused. Now, who is more important, those customers that don't know your name and could care less if you died, or your wife who seems to love you on occasion? Uh, who's more important? Said your wife. Hmm. Why haven't you asked your wife how you can be a better husband? That's a question. Uh, Probably comes down to courage, not having the courage uh, to. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your right hand. My name is Deepak. My name is Deepak. I need help. I need help. I'm a coward. I'm a coward. <laughs> uh, See, we're all cowards. <laughs> Why don't we do this stuff? Because it's hard. It's embarrassing, it's humbling, it's painful. We don't want to deal with the truth. It's hard. Why do I have somebody kick my ass? I'm a coward. Why does Pal Gasol have a trainer? I'm a coward. Twyla Tharp, I'm a coward. Hey, we all talk about willpower as if somehow we have all this willpower. Yeah. Willpower is grossly overrated. 
none of us have that much willpower. Who are we kidding? Hmm. Hmm. Marshall, uh, moving to a slightly 